Hey, welcome to Rogue Rock. This is Mir again. Miracles XI, Miracles the 11th, Miracles, um, Brogue. Yo, we're gonna play Brogue. I have never played this game before. Let's see, what can we do here? Open game? Nope. New game. Yep. Whoa, a classic roguelike. Beautiful. Look at those graphics. I'm in the depth one. Anyways, yeah, like, as I was saying, I've never played this game before. I know nothing about it. This is my first time opening it up. Uh, hello and welcome, adventure to the Dungeons of Doom. Retrieve the Amulet of Yendor from the 26th floor and escape with it. Hey, the Amulet of Yendor. Press question mark to help for help at any time. Help, help. Give me some help. Mouse click, control click, return, space, escape. Ooh, look at all these keys. Oh wait, I can use keys to move. H, J, K, L. Whoa, it's a little crazy. Maybe I should just play with a mouse, yeah. Apply equip. Ooh. It's gonna take me some time to memorize all these, so I won't worry about it. Look, it's me. I think I'm this guy. Little at symbol. Ooh, a music note. Scroll untitled Herbaflema Gerd. This parchment is covered with indecipherable writing and bears a title of Herbaflinema Gerd. Wait, Herbaflinerma Gerd. Who knows what it will do when read aloud? Well, let's pick it up. Come on. Oh, wait. A rat is fighting me. I need to keep track of all this. I think I killed a rat? Yeah, killed a rat. Dungeon exit. Scroll. Untitled offer. There's another scroll there. This scroll over here. I need to go grab. You know how the scroll. Scroll of Potter, Potter Flem. Let's go grab that. Hmm. It's right there, right there. What's this? Oh, yeah, it's me. This is my health, my nutrition, my strength is 12, armor 3. Pfft. Let's pick this one up. Explore. See the ground. Search. The water is cold and reaches your knee. Menu. Oh, there's an autopilot. Uh, we'll try that out next time and see what that does. Like color effects, display stealth range. Huh. Inventory. Dagger, leather armor, some food, scrolls. Well, I don't know what the scrolls do yet, so I'll use it in front of an enemy, see what that does. Let's go down here. What is this? Foliage? Two rats over here. Scavenger of the Shadow, 50% chance to hit you. 6% health. Could kill me in 10 hits. Nice. Check out these scrolls. And apply. This is a scroll of enchantment. Cool, what can I enchant with this? Oh, okay. Enchantment with eight to Z. Um, I guess I'll enchant my hmm, armor. Nah, dagger. I want to see what cool effects you can, uh, offensive effects you can come out with. Dagger. Dagger bears intrinsic enchantment of plus one and carries on additional bonus of plus 0.25 because of your excess strength. Will the dagger at the ready? Cool. Let's call this baby. Wait, can I relabel this? New letter A to Z. Uh. What? Oh, does labeling mean setting it as a key? Okay, okay. I didn't think that's what relabel meant. Whoa, I'm no longer wielding it. Food. Where's my dagger? Where's my dagger? Oh, there it is. Let's uh, re equip that. Well, let's label that back to A because that's what it was initially. Inventory. Dagger. Equip. Okay, got it equipped. Okay, so it looks like the upper area is what I have equipped, and the lower area is the stuff, the other stuff that I have. Let's see what this scroll does. Apply. Scroll of teleportation. Oh, cool. I'm somewhere further away. Maybe there were monsters in the water, and I avoided them. That's probably the case. Oh, what's this over here? 90 gold pieces. I'll take it. Blue potion. Wait, did I pick this up? Yeah. Blue potion. I'll have to drink that at some point. See what that's like. Maybe it's a health potion? Or maybe it's something bad. What is this? 
blood bloodwort stock. Search, no. Explore, no. Menu. No. Well, guess I may as well walk into it. May as well walk into it. But I'm afraid it'll hurt me. Out of healing spores. Whoa, didn't, didn't see that coming. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I appreciate the healing. Dense foliage. Oh, I can break the foliage by stepping on them. Cool. I wish this had lost controls. I guess I can control with the keyboard. That's fine too. In that case, I'll have to move my cursor. There we go. No, that's not it. Okay, let's play with the keyboard and see how that goes. I killed a rat, and I didn't realize it. Actually, I, may, I should probably just go back to the mouse so I can see what's what. The K is a kobold. Hey, a kobold. 100% chance to hit it. Typically hit 42% of its current health. Oh, I can kill that in like three hits. Or two, I guess. Yeah, that's math for you. Boom. Or... Oh, it was sleeping. Nice. I'm so stealth, man. What's this? Tan potion? I have to drink that too. I mean, ideally, you want to drink these potions soon, so you know what they are and you don't struggle with them. But I'm a little lazy with that. I mean, I just want to use them at the last moment and see what it could possibly do, but I know I probably shouldn't. I should just fight it. I mean, I should just fight my urges and drink it. Kill that rat. How do I wait? Space? It's usually space. No. Menu. Rest until better. Auto pellets. Spend game. Use data. No, no, no. There should be a button that lets me just sit. I'll do that. Well. Kill the rat. Check out over here. Nothing. Wish this game had better graphics, man. Dead. Oh, there's a thing. Probably. Can't tell. Because of the, you know, graphics. I know I have some friends that are really interested in this kind in these kinds of graphics. And I'm like, can I just replace all the symbols with little colored tiles that look cute? I mean I guess this looks better than um what's that game called? The one with the dwarves. Dwarf Fortress, yeah. But then again, Dwarf Fortress has support for all these different graphics packs. Quote unquote graphics. What's this? Water? Oh, it's a chasm. I see. I see. You see the brink of a chasm. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. What am I even doing? I don't even need to check a search thing. It just tells me at the bottom what these things are. Okay, well, I can't jump yet. It's this downward staircase. Ah, the next floor. Cool. Rickety rope bridge. I could probably fall off that. Did I fall into the chasm? No, I didn't. It's all chasm. Let's go. Okay, so I'm getting up. Oh, I get hurt by the kobold. Let's kill that. I should head over here and see what's up. Um, I'm getting a better picture of how these maps are supposed to look like. Now, if I had to guess, one of these potions might be some kind of a levitation potion that lets me levitate over the gaps. And, come on, die, kobold. What could the other potion be? I have no idea what the other potion could be. Turquoise potion, A. Down back here. Here. Okay, let's check. Let's check out the stock. The spindly plant grows seed pods famous for their healing properties. Okay, cool. Come there to heal. The nutrition's going down. May as well heal now. I mean, I honestly doubt that I'm gonna come back here again for the sake of nutrition. And the key is probably here. You s remember seeing a door key here? Yep, that's right. Now let's go up there. What's this? Oh, dungeon exit. Yeah. Okay. Now let's check out these potions. This is one of the good. Re this is one reason why to wait to use those potions in case you know you get some kind of levitation property or whatever. Something you need to progress through. Blue potion. A fly. Newfound strength surges through your body. You have in a you it. Must have been a potion of strength. Cool. I got more strength. That's nice. Tan potion. Apply. Invisibility. 
I see. That's pretty cool. Inventory. Turquoise. Let me fly. Telepathy. Ah. Hmm. Telepathy. What does that let me do? Eat the minds of others. Uh, how do I get you, Key? How do I get you? Let's see. Let's see. There's got to be some other way. Some food, leather armor, a dagger. Yeah, I got nothing. Search. Unless I'm missing something. No, no. I guess I won't be able to get through. Wait, I sense a rat. Gotta kill me a rat. Rat. There's a rat. Pretty far away, so let's not bother with that. And just head to the next floor. There we go. Cool, next floor. Check it, dog. There's a jackal, another jackal, a rat, a monkey, another monkey, another jackal. Oh man, quite a lot of enemies here. But that's fine. We'll go down here. Jackal. Can't reach that right away. Wooden door. Up there. What's this? Chasm. Brink, uh, brink of a chasm. Let's hope bust this door down. A, uh, probably healing pod, if I have to guess. I mean, the last one was a healing pod, this one's probably not. Kill this rat over here. Gold. Get rich. That means there's a shop somewhere in this game. Doesn't necessarily have to mean on this floor. What's this? An axe. Whoa! Penalty of minus five because of your ina inadequate strength. It will reveal its secrets if you defeat 20 enemies with it. Well, willing an axe, assuming it has no hidden properties, will... Decrease your current accuracy by 34% and increase your current damage by 51%. But what strength do I need? Probably 15, based on the 15 over here. There's a door here. Go down here. Hmm. Nothing. Totally empty. Maybe I should be searching more often. Well, doesn't seem like it. Let's just bust this door down. Oh, hey, what's up, Jackal? Jackal. Could kill me in eight hits, and I could kill it in two. Well, did I give it a hit? Oh, I hit it, yeah. It took me three hits, that was in two. A Jackal and a monkey in the same room. I need to be a little bit more careful over there. Check out this area, this area. That's just going to loop back, so I'll head there in a jiffy. Let's see what's up here. Oh! Porterpus Haberpo. Why am I trying to read these? Why am I trying to read these? Oh, a rat. Oh, I still have telepathy. Oh, I guess that's what telepathy does. I mean, I guess I figured that out as soon as I entered the floor, but now I'm for, like vocalizing it. Telepathy makes you see enemies that are throughout the rest of the floor. Okay, let's bust this door down. And fight this monkey? Let's see. I killed him three hits, it could kill me in ten. Yeah, sounds like a safe fight. There you go. Killed it in its sleep. Vicious. Just vicious. Hey, another monkey. Another one dispatched in its sleep. Oh, such an assassin. Kill that rat. Caught it unaware. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I guess I should head back over there and see what's up. Kill that jackal. Hey, jackal. What are you doing, jackal? No, I didn't mean to go there. My health is looking kind of low, but it's not too bad. Um, okay, may as well check out these pods now. Maybe it's another healing pod? Oh, there goes my ability to sense enemies. Out of healing spores. Yep, I guess they're all healing spores. I mean, it seems like it for now. At some point, I'll know when to save those up and not use them right away. For now, I'm learning. I should check out that scroll, too. Over here. What's this? Chainmail. Oh, that's cool. And I can wear it. Is your stealth range by one? Nice. I should check out the stealth properties in this game at some point. Other armor. No, wait. No, no, no. Chain mail. There we go. Equip. 
Nice. Your chainmail constricts around you painfully. Oh, great! It's cursed, if I had to guess. Wonderful. Cursed items. Wonderful. Can I remove it? Yeah, look at that. You can't. Your chainmail appears to be cursed. Hmm. Maybe this is a remove curse. Must have been a scroll of remove curse. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. What's up with this one? Interlocking metals. Tough, but flexible suit of armor. You found it in depth 2. It will reveal its secrets of worn for 998 more turns. You're wearing the chainmail. What is it called? Whoop. Oh, I can give it a name? Oh, that's how you give it a name. And I was thinking it was the other thing. Uh, man. Walk wear. Extreme. That's what we're going to call it. Yeah! Rockware Extreme. <laughs> what do I want to call you? Dagger of the Five Saken. It's better than Dagger of the Forsaken. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Door open. Oh god. A cobalt, another cobalt, and a, a rare suspicious bloat filled with peculiar vapor that if released will cause the floor to vanish out from underneath it. The pit bloat deals no direct damage. You have a 100% chance to hit the pit bloat, typically for 75% of its current health, and at best you can defeat it in one hit. Bloat dies when it attacks, flies, and moves erratically? Okay. Filled with a peculiar vapor that if released will cause the floor to vanish out from underneath it. Hmm. That is peculiar. Well, it seems like it's just underneath it, so... Huh. Oh, Z is rest. Duh. Come on. There we go. Oh, god. That's not good. I knew I should have used ranged attacks. Oh well. Let's see if I can find my way back up. If not, then that's fine. Oh, hey, what's this? Splint mail? Metal embedded into a chainmail base, providing wear with substantial protection. That's pretty cool. I'll pick it up for potential to sell it, assuming I can sell stuff. See what's over here. Oh, hey, rat and cobalt. What's up, friends? I'll kill you. Go over here. Oh, what's this? Potion of strength. Yeah. So gonna drink this. Apply. And I didn't even see what that was. Two rations of food. Cool. Yeah, when my nutrition goes down, food's gonna go into my stomach. Now, I just hope there aren't stuff in the game that'll cause my food to rot. Like those little traps in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon that makes all your apples grimy. It's the worst when you have all these big apples you're ready to sell. And you step on a grime trap and it's like, oh, yeah, thanks, jeez, thanks. An upward staircase. Oh, hey, I can go back up. That's nice. Actually, I'm just going to do that right now. Oh, where am I? Monkey. Jackal. Kill you in its sleep. Kill you in its sleep. No? Because it woke up. I took a few more hits than I had initially hoped. Uh... Yeah, this floor seems good. I mean, I think that was the only other thing I had to do. Axe, darts, menu, no, nothing in the menu. Search, rest, explore. I think I'm basically done with this floor. Yeah, that was all that I had to do. Now let's get up and at him. Can I swim? Leather armor floats away in the current. Um, let's, uh, not do that. Inventory? Oh, well, there goes my leather armor. But, I don't think I needed that. I mean, it would have been nice to sell it, you know. But that's fine. Let's go over here. What is that? An enemy? No? Squirrel? Bloat? There's the bloat. There's the bloat. Annoying bloat. This is the same kind of bloat. Bloat deals no direct damage, the bloat dies. The bloat dies when it attacks. Oh, a bladder of deadly gas buoys the bloat through the air. It's thin, venomous membrane ready to rupture at the slightest stress. The bloat deals no direct damage. 
Okay, so it seems the best way to deal with these bloats is to actually just throw darts at them. Hey, cobalt. Here we go. There's the bloat. Let's go to the inventory. Grab a dart. Uh, do I need to equip these, really? Throw. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Need to be faster. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Just out of range. Nope, never mind. Never mind. It's not out of range. Still in range. My flesh. My precious flesh. So how long do I have to wait for this to disappear? Assuming it disappears. Hidden Z. Waiting for it to... Okay, I think it stays. It's not good. Oh, nope, never mind. Just, have to, just didn't wait long enough. There we go. It's gone. Bloat is dead. Inventory. Darts. So, what if I equip them? Oh no, it's the main equipped item. Okay. But what's the difference between equipping the darts and not? Do I just stab something with a dart? That seems kind of dumb. We'll call these dumb darts. Yeah, I noticed the capital U. I'm leaving it like that. Look, another scroll. Taking that. Going over here. I can see myself investing hours upon hours in this game. Oh god. Down here. Oh hey, it's another bloat. Ugh, it's the it's that kind of bloat. It's not good. Don't like that. How do I throw again? C? Okay. No, that's not it. Oh, okay, got it right. Wait, did I just inscribe darts? What is it? No, wait, no, 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 no. Ah. Dumb. Darts. That's all I'm trying to do. I. C? T? God, that's annoying. Inventory. Darts. Throw. Hit that. Go here. Escape the wrath of that poison gas. Okay, well, just wait until wait over here until things get better. I guess now's as good a time as any to test out the properties of the food and how much they recover your nutrition. Maybe it recovers all of it, so that'd be kind of a waste if I just use it and it just recovers everything when I still have much more I could be recovering. I'll wait until I'm almost dying of hunger. Is that gone yet? No, it's not. Oh, 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 not my, not my flesh, not my flesh. I'll just wait. There we go. Freedom. Hey, you want to know what's the opposite of freedom? Free smart. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Dumb darts. Throw. Oh, wait, I can't. Okay, now I can. Inventory. Dumb darts. Throw. And you. Oh, wow, well, that killed you. Wait, I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> Sorry. Gizm tight, bless me. Other words. Let's go back over here. Now, how do I proceed through the floor? I don't want to go through the water. Oh, no, 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 bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Mistakes were made. Huge mistakes were made. Inventory. Oh, hey, there's the other scroll I still need to read. I'll do that right after this. There we go. See a patch of shadows? No. Okay. Leather armor. Where's, it? Where's my leather armor anyway? Oh, it just got all the way over there. That's what happened. I see. So it didn't just go down the water and never come back. Um, do I really want to waste all this nutrition for... Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. Get my leather back. Hey, monkey, don't steal my items. Huh. Oh. Don't steal my stuff, monkey. Okay, this is going to be a little stressful. 
No, monkey, don't. Kill you. There we go. Ah, I'm losing all my stuff. Regrets. 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 Oh, great. Look at all that stuff I lost. Okay, let's see. If I wait, maybe I can still grab them. Got this. Come back here. Got this. Nice. Okay. Stupid monkeys going into the water. Come on, monkeys. You should know better than that. Okay, so it looks like I can go through the water, but I'm likely to lose items. Let's see. This is shallow. Murky. Shallow. Murky. Murky. Hmm. Wait, this is all shallow water. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning. Wasted a ton of nutrition heading all the way back. No, wait, I headed all the way back for the experience for the monkey and for... What else did I go the back there for? Hey, look, another monkey. Who's this monkey? Oh, it's right in front of me. Kill that. Oh, nice. Go over here. Oh, really? Another monkey? Where's this one? Oh, all the way over there. Okay, nope, no problem. Staircase upwards? No, wait. It's the staircase I already have been through. Ooh, a confusion trap. Ooh, gold pieces. That place looks super dangerous. Kill the monkey that's asleep. Aquamarine potion. Come over here. Kill the rat. Rat. There we go. What's this? Blow orc pod. Ah, healing. Nice. Staircase down. Okay. Now, there's probably going to be some traps here. So. That's a search. I don't want to step on this. I'm just hitting S over and over again so I don't step on any traps. But it seems like I don't really have to. Fusion trap, rat. Where's the rat? There it is. Go down here, go down here, over here. I'm sorry, I have to clear up every room. This is how I play every roguelike. You gotta clear everything up. Maximize your possibilities of winning. But so far it seems pretty easy. Oh yeah, I should heal. Oh wait, I don't need a heal. I've got full health. I mean, I don't think I'll be coming back to this floor again. So I may as well just... Yeah, what's that? Alright, stick here, split word stock. Yeah, may as well just hit one of these stocks and... Heal that one health, assuming I needed one health to heal. Grab the squirrel. Grab the... Whoa, whoa, jackals! That's no good. Let's see if I can kill those. Oh! Oh, that's not good at all. Back here, there we go. Yeah, I moved back a couple steps so I didn't have two of them hitting me in one turn. It's probably bad of me to just run over there without checking whether or not they were asleep. Actually, I should see what the whole um, sneaking ordeal is. Where's sneaking? How does sneaking work in this game? Explore. Inventory. Oh, I think you just sneak normally. Okay. Um... Fire trap, huh? Let's destroy that trap. Dart. Throw. Did that work? Oh, yeah, that works. Nice. Is it a fire dart now? No, it's just a dart on a fire trap. And these are flames that I don't want to touch. Bog. Withered fungus. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. But may as well go through. Is this fire burning stuff? Sputtering embers. Goblin. Ooh, I don't think I fought a goblin yet. I could defeat you in five hits, and I could defeat it in four hits. Okay, that's not good. I need to. I only have nine darts left. That's not good either. Well.
Okay. Two and five. I like those odds better. Alright, goblin. Ew, scores me. Oh my god, so much health loss. Eh, that was a lot of health loss. But, there should be the pods back there. So, I'm fine. Okay, no need to. Well, do these traps reactivate? Come on, Jackal, really? Wait, what is that? Jelly? Oh, no, it's not a Jackal. I think Jelly has a. <laughs> Kills me in 6 hits, and at best you can defeat it in 13 hits. Okay, that's really, really bad. That, that's a losing battle. Let's check out what one of these potions does. No, wait, let's check out what this scroll does. Whoa, insane. Where's life? It pierces the nearby walls. It must have been a scroll of shattering. Oh god. What did that do? <laughs> what is this? It's pretty insane. Let's try you out. This has been a scroll protect weapon. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So is my weapon protected? Don't know what that means, but that's cool. That's cool. Uh, okay, time to drink the potion. Potion of life. Oh, a healing potion. Nice. Uh, oof, this is going to be such a rough fight. What about you, potion? You feel very confused. The pink jelly catches fire. Pink J looks confused. I'm probably on fire too. Oh god, this is... All these colors, what's going on? Okay, let's see if I can get behind that jelly. Burning gas. Uh... You catch fire. Pink jelly slimes you. What am I doing? What is... I'd like to... Leave this area. Whoa, are there more jellies? You can defeat it in two hits. Okay. Five hits. This is pretty rough. I think jelly burns to death. Okay, so a lot happened right there. A lot happened. Let me try to process this. There was fire, there was jellies. In the end, I think it came out alright, except I'm confused now. Let's take the time to eat a ration of food. Let's just do that. Yep, it fully heals me. That's what I thought. No, it doesn't. Just a little bit left. So, I used it at a good time. What did I do? What did I do? I caught fire. This was bad. Where's the water? Oh, there's water over there. What am I doing? Let's not die. I'm at below 25% health. Okay, okay. Let's take this slow. Food, axe, splint, scroll of remove curse, scroll of enchanting. Okay, so I'm burning, right? And I need to reach that water over there. Inventory. Scrolls. Hey, at least my scrolls aren't burning. Oh, minus two chainmail. That's really, really bad. Let's remove that. No, wait, let's not worry about my armor. Maybe even this armor causes me to take more damage? I don't know, maybe? Let's see, ground. No, I'm still confused, so I'm gonna move the wrong way. Okay. Inventory, splint, chainmail, and axe. Darts, some food with our armor. Yeah, there's no getting around this. I think I'm gonna die. It's my health out, though. Why isn't there water nearby? There is water, but there's, it's too far away. Okay, let's... No, no. Waiting isn't gonna help me. Nope, I died. There we go. That is my first death. Death and death four. What a tragedy. What a sickness. Horrible fires. But that was a lot of fun. That was, um... What is this game again? Brogue. Fascinating, interesting game. If you can get past the graphics, which admittedly look better than Dwarf Fortress, I think, personally. It's just me, and other similar games of that caliber, because of all the colors and the extra characters and all that, so it looks nice, and those that whole crystal splash thing was pretty crazy. Uh, I had fun, it's a classic roguelike with a lot of fun elements. Oh hey, so you got burned to death on depth 4 with 542 gold, cool. Hey, first high score! Wonderful. 6, 7, 16, oh hey, now you know what I'm playing. So that was cool, I had a lot of fun. 
And now let's see what this recording looks like. Go over there, walk around, grab some scrolls, man. Got some daggers. Picking up lots of stuff. Running around like a spastic maniac. Isn't that a bad word in England? I'm sorry, English people. Looking at, looking at some bridges. Checking over that pit. Killing a kobold. Running all the way to the other side. Going back. Doing all that on the second floor. Depth 2. Getting intimidated by the large number of enemies here. But, I mean, I guess they're supposed to be here anyways. It's just that I had the potion that lets me see what's everywhere, so then I saw all the enemies and I got all intimidated. Pit bloats. Oh, that pit bloat. Making a pit. Making me fall. Running around like crazy. Grabbing stuff. Picked up armor, put it on. It constricts me painfully. Fell into the pit. There we go. Did more running. Killed a kobold. Killed some jackals. Discovered the shallowness of water. Lost some armor in the water. Ah. Gas bloat. Oh, horrifying. Named my darts dumb darts, because they were dumb. They weren't dumb, they were pretty cool. They, I got a lot of good use out of them. Made that cool pun with the dumb and smart. Did an awesome play and then screwed it up immediately by going into the gas. Oh man, this was a mess. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Just look at me. Struggling to kill the monkey, waiting for my stuff to wash ashore. Got in my old armor, going back there and realizing that all I went back there was for was the armor. Killed a monkey. Explored some empty rooms. Killed an R. Oh yeah, R's are rats. Man, so the nice thing would have been if, after burning in that horrible fiery mess, if I could have gone back to the water to cleanse myself of my burn and then into go back up one floor to heal myself fully. But, you know, that's how rogue roguelikes work. That is the nature of these games. You die, you step into confusion traps. Wait, what confused me anyways? Nah, whatever, it doesn't matter. But, and then I died. There's that. My first real playthrough of Brogue. Great! Anyways, I hope you guys had fun. I'll probably play this again, I probably won't, who knows. Maybe I will. This, this was pretty fun. I think I might make a series out of this. I'll see how it goes. But, yeah. I'll be out with more videos in the future. This is... What am I again? Miracles! X-I! Rock on!